Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and today I'm doing a really fun video that is a little different for me, but I really wanted to put out more beauty content, so I thought this would be a really fun one to do. This is a dupe video with the Rosé in the Air palette from Wet n Wild, which is $4.99 and the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia, which is $42. Now, this is like one of my very favorite palettes in the entire world, so I decided to pick up the Wet n Wild palette and really just compare and see if I can create the same exact eye look on two different eyes. Before I start the video, guess down below which eye you think is the Modern Renaissance and which eye you think is the Wet n Wild. I will put a close up right here. Guess down below and we are gonna get right into this video. Alright, so I am going to kind of work with both sides simultaneously so I don't forget a color or a step or anything like that and this really can authentically tell you how much of a dupe the Wet n Wild palette will be for the Modern Renaissance palette. So I'm going to kind of zoom you guys in and work on both eyes at the same time. This is going to be the side that has the Wet n Wild palette on it. So I already have my eye primer on both eyes. I did the Urban Decay um, whatever the primer is called from Urban Decay that everyone uses anyway. I'm going to go in with this white shade right here. It's kind of like an off-white yellowy shade because there is one in the Modern Renaissance that looks a lot like it, but I'm just gonna use this to kind of set this whole area and make sure that my colors are gonna blend better. And then on the Modern Renaissance side, I'm going to use the color tempera right here and that is pretty much the most similar shade uh, for a kind of off-white setting shade these ones aren't exactly the same but they're really not going to matter as much to the look so it's all right all right so for my first kind of transition shade i'm going to use the color right here that is called transition um, it's just a nice warm tone shade that has a dupe in the Modern Renaissance palette. So I'm going to use them and see what I can do. And I'm just going to build this up in my like entire crease area. I'm going to use this color right here that is called Raw Sienna and it is kind of the closest to this shade. Burnt Orange is similar as well, but Raw Sienna has a little more of the brown shade that this transition color has from the Wet n Wild palette. So these ones are the ones that are almost the exact same. All right, and they look pretty similar in the buildup that they have right now, so I'm gonna move on to my next color. I think I wanna go for a very kind of like orangey, reddish look, so I am going to dig right in to this orange shade, and I'm gonna put that pretty much from about here in my crease all the way over and into the outer corner, and then I will do the same with the Modern Renaissance side, and I'll show you that as we get there. All right, so I cleaned off my brush. I am cleaning it off every single time when I use my brushes, uh, just for the record, but I'm gonna go into Real Gar right here from my Modern Renaissance palette. It is basically the exact same orange, so we're gonna see if it performs the same as the Wet n Wild one. I'll definitely say I can notice right away there's more pigment in the Anastasia one. I definitely can see that I don't have to build it up nearly as much, but the actual color itself does seem to be almost the exact same. All right, so this is what I have right here, and I'm going to grab a fluffy brush that has no product on it, and I'm just going to blend these out a little more before I move on. And so far, if you guys agree with me, it's looking like this it is pretty much the exact same palette on both sides, which I think is kind of cool. So we are going to move on to the next color. All right, so after that, I'm going to dig into this red color right here in the Wet n Wild palette. And with this red, I'm really gonna concentrate it on this outer V right here and bring it a little bit into my lid as well. All 
right, and then I'm going to go in to the shade Red Ochre from the Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm going to put that on the Modern Renaissance side the same exact way. All right, and I am going to go back into the orange color from both palettes. There's just the orange, and then it was Realgar in the Modern Renaissance, and I'm going to put that back over some of that red again just to bring back some of that orange that got taken away a little bit. All right, and this is what we have so far. I'm gonna move on to the lower lash line before I finish the lid, and let's see. So on the lower lash line, I'm going to build up this transition color followed by this orange color right here um, on my Wet n Wild side, of course. And then I'm going to do the same on the Modern Renaissance side, except it is going to be the color Raw Sienna and then the color Realgar. Alright, so we're going to move on and put the shimmer shade on. I don't think I'm going to do any type of like cut crease or anything like that today. I just want to put the shimmer onto uh, both the inner corner and the first like half of the lid and then I'll blend that out. So I'm gonna use this champagne gold color in the Wet n Wild palette. I'm grabbing a pretty densely packed brush. I find that that works a lot better and a lot easier and I'm gonna spray it with my Mario Badescu rose water spray and then I'm gonna go right into it and see what I can do. All right, so this is my Wet n Wild eye so far. I am gonna go back and kind of blend the glitter shade into the outer corner, but first we're gonna go and do the glitter shade on the Modern Renaissance side, and I'm gonna be using the color Primavera, which is right here, and I'm using another like densely packed brush. Um, it is pretty much the exact same, just a different brand brush, and I'm gonna spray it just the same and see how these shimmer colors stack up against each other as well. All right, so I can already tell that I kind of need to go back on the Wet n Wild side and add more because if you can see, the glitter from the Modern Renaissance definitely is a little bit more pigmented. I'm gonna use more of the orange shade here and just kind of blend the glitter into that red just a little better so that it kind of fades nicely. All right, so I'm gonna go pop on some lashes as well as some eyeliner, and I will be right back to discuss the final look and really compare both eyes. All right, y'all, so I am back, and this is the final look that I was able to come up with. It definitely is a little more of a fall look than I was gonna go for when I started out, but I figured I got inspired, so I did what I did, it's fine. I definitely think that I came out with extremely similar looks. I don't think that anybody out in public would think that I used two different palettes by any means. I think that it looks literally like the same palette on both sides. The only thing that I saw a real difference in was the gold shade in this palette compared to Primavera in the Modern Renaissance palette. The glitter shade in the Wet n Wild definitely is not as pigmented as with the Modern Renaissance. However, if you are someone that is really on a budget, I truly think that if you wanna buy the Wet n Wild palette, you can create pretty much the same exact looks as you can with the Modern Renaissance palette. I would definitely call this a dupe. I think it passed the test. I think that this look literally looks the same on both sides. So I hope that might've helped somebody out there who is just on a tighter budget and can't afford to go for the Modern Renaissance. All right, y'all, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, please comment down below, and also please subscribe so you don't miss another video. I do beauty, unboxings, lifestyle, all kinds of fun stuff. I would love to have you here to connect and talk. So please subscribe so you don't miss another video, and I will see you guys next time.